to your opposite side and come back. To make it easier, you can always bend your knees and press your feet down to the mat. Really engage your core and try to open your chest here. Beautiful. Xin chào, welcome to Pilates with Hannah and welcome to day 22 of the 30 minutes Pilates challenge. Today will be the double challenge for a sexy up Pilates workout. So when you're ready, just run a mat and let's begin. And please remember that I make this video in 60 minutes, but gonna divide into two parts. So if you don't have enough time, you still can do the first part of 30 minutes and then if you want to challenge yourself more, you always can go all the way to 60 minutes and hope to see you at the end of the video, so let's start! Alright, now let's start by allowing yourself to open your arms to the side and shoulders down. Pull your belly button in, now inhale and rotate the torso to one side. Exhale, come back and to the other side. Make sure you feel your oblique is twisting here and slightly engage your core. Protect your lower back. So keep breathing, inhale and exhale to the other side and come back and five to your right, to your left, four. Try to go a little bit further and two more times here with your own breath. Last one to the other side and slowly back to the center. Now inhale, bring your arms all the way up and slowly rotate the torso to one side again and bring your arms to the side. Come back and to your opposite side. So we're going to do it five more times each side here with your own breath. Keep breathing, four, three, belly button in. We're going to warm up a little bit before we start the real workout. And last one and slowly all the way up to the ceiling. Now reach and bring it down, stretch your stomach a little bit, you can interlace your finger here and reach it all the way up and down and three, two and last one and slowly allow yourself to come all the way to own four position. Open your arms shoulder apart and your legs hip width apart. Now I want you to tuck your feet here and put your shoulder far away from your ears so inhale and lift your knees up and exhale, slowly bring it down. Make sure the eyes on the elbows rotate to face each other. Now inhale, lift, exhale down, and nine, eight, lengthen your neck and look down to the mat. Belly button in, five, four, three, two, and last one, slowly bring your knees down. Inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. Now from here, I want you to really engage your core, keep your hips, your heels and your knees together. Now pull your belly button in and hips neutral. Bring your hand to the front and opposite leg to the back and start to bring it down, engage your core. So I really want you to focus on the core here. And so use the core to keep balance. Lengthen your arm and your leg to the opposite way and come back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring it back. And five. To the other side. Four. Belly button in, three, to your opposite side, and two more times, sit with your own breath, keep breathing, last one, inhale, and exhale, to your opposite way, and slowly bring it back to the center, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth, alright, now from here, I wanted to put your forearms down to the mat, now, Make sure your shoulders on top of your elbows here. Lengthen both legs to the back. Engage your core here. And make sure you don't arch your back. Just lift, inhale deeply to your nose and bend one knee. Bring your knee towards your elbow and come back to your opposite side. Bring it back to the center. Now make sure you don't arch your back and don't lift your hips so high. Really listen to your body here, but engage your core and keep breathing. And five more times with your own breath. Very good. Four. <sighs> exhale, bend your knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. And three more times here with your own breath. Keep breathing. Two. <sighs> and last one. To the other side. 
and slowly bend your knees down. Come to dry pose. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to allow yourself to sit all the way along the mat. Now, bend your knees here and bring your hand on hand. Lengthen your spine and shoulders down. I want you to press your feet down, open your legs here feet apart and keep your knees open and facing all the way up to the ceiling. Really pull your belly button in. Now inhale, lean backward. And exhale, slowly come back to the center. Inhale, lean. Exhale, bring it back. Very good. Keep breathing here with your own breath. And five. Four. Three more times. Engage your core and keep lengthening your spine here. Make sure you put your shoulder down towards your hips. Open your chest. And last one. Slowly bring it back to the center. Now a little bit more challenging here. I want you to put your hands behind your hips here and lengthen your legs. Don't see flex with your feet. Soften your elbows, close your elbows all the way to the back and put your shoulder far away from your ears. Now I want you to inhale and lean your back a little bit backward here. Shoulders down, chest open. Activate your feet, inhale and lift one leg up and exhale to the other side. So again, we use the core to lift your legs up and make sure that you not use your hand to push down to help you to really lift your legs up and really based on your core to do that. So pull your belly button in. Now if you can, I want you to try to lengthen one leg to the front. And if you can, the second time, bring your opposite leg, your opposite arm to the front too. So slide back to open your chest and then round your spine, chin your chest. If you're a beginner, you can always bend both knees down and press your feet down to the mat. And really engage your core here. Change your chest, belly button in. And try to open your chest and pull your belly button all the way towards your spine. So five more times, see with your own breath. And again, if you can, try to lengthen your legs all the way up. So three, two, and last one. And slowly bend your knees, hug your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now the next movement, I want you to lean backward again. Put your hands behind your hips and lengthen your legs. Keep your feet together, activate your feet. Or you can open your legs with a part if you want. Shoulder far away from your ears and fingers point towards the front, belly button in. Now inhale and push your hips all the way up into your core. Look towards the front here and slowly bend your knees, move to the front a little bit and then come back. So engage your core and keep breathing here with your own breath. Belly button in and five. Really use your core to move. Four. Three and listen to your body here. Very good. Two. Try to lift your hips as high as you can. Last one. And slowly bring it back and hips down each vertebra at a time. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And now keep your hips and your knees together here. I wanted to make it even more challenging. But if you are a beginner, you can always put your forearms down to the mat. Or if you want to make it easier, you can always put your forearms down to the mat and shoulders on top of your elbows. And if you want more challenge, just lengthen your arms here. Try to lift your hips as high as you can. And now press one feet down, foot down, and then bring one leg up. Engage your core. And then bring it down to the other side. Really engage your core here and keep breathing. Five. Very good. To the other side. Shoulder far away from your ears. Four. Belly button all the way in. Three. Keep breathing. Two. Squeeze your thighs and activate your feet. And last one. Really pull your belly button in and slowly bring your hips down. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright, and now I want you to open your legs a bit apart here. Don't see flex with your feet. And squeeze in the thighs, really pull your belly button in and bring your hands to the front, palms facing each other. Now chin your chest, roll each vertebra at a time, allow yourself to lie all the way down on your back. Hand over your head. And now really engage your core, pull your belly button in, inhale. And exhale, use your core to roll up and flex forward. 
and slowly come back shoulders down, round your spine again, chin to chest, and each vertebra at a time, hands over your head. Beautiful. And four more times, sit with your own breath. Really use your contract to not lift your leg up here, shoulders down. Contract your pelvic floor muscle, lower back, middle, and then upper back down to the mat. Beautiful. And three. <sighs> Try to use your core to roll up, not the momentum here. Shoulders down, round your spine. Contract your pelvic floor muscle and each vertebra at a time down. And two more times here. <sighs> Flex forward and then shoulders down. Very good. And last one. <sighs> Reach and come back, drop the shoulders and sit tall with your back in neutral, lengthen your spine again. Now I want to inhale and really keep your hips and your knees together here, hands behind your hips, close your elbow to the back. Now bend your elbows and lean backward. I, try, I want you to try to open your chest up and shoulder down. Now bend your knee and both legs up to 90 degree here. Keep your lower legs parallel to the floor and activate your feet. Now inhale and bring one leg down. Exhale, lift to the other side, engage your core here. Very good. And again, if you want to challenge yourself more, like you would always bring your leg, your arms all the way up to the front. Come back to the other side. Always keep your lower leg parallel to the floor. And make sure you open your chest, belly button in. Keep your back lengthening here. Make sure that you pull your belly button in to protect your lower back. So five, to the other side, four, to the other side, and three more times here with your own breath. Keep breathing, two, and last one, to the other side, and slowly bring your legs down, hug your knee to your chest, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now from here, I want you to allow yourself to lean backward again, bring your hands to the front this time, and open your chest, lengthen your legs, open your legs to the apart, and dorsiflex flex with your feet. Now inhale and slowly lean backward here. Open your chest up, engage your core, open one arm to the side, exhale, come back to your opposite side, and come back. To make it easier, you can always bend your knees and press your feet down to the mat. Really engage your core and try to Open your chest here. Beautiful. Six more times each side with your own breath and keep breathing. Five. Lengthen your legs if you want more challenge. Four. To the other side, really engage your core here and feel your abs, your core is working. Three more times. Two. To the other side. And to your right, last time. To your left, last time. To your opposite side. Slowly back to the center, hug your knee to your chest, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now I want you to inhale and allow yourself to, again, now bring your arms all the way up to the ceiling, bend your knees here, and exhale, lean backward, bring your arms to the front. Inhale, lift your arms all the way up, engage your core, and keep breathing here. So, seven more times with your own breath, keep breathing, six, belly button all the way in. And five, four, very good. Three more times here with your own breath. Keep breathing, two. And last one. And slowly lift your arms all the way up. Now I want you to bring your hands down and slowly allow yourself to lie down to the mat. So keep your back in neutral position here. And arms along your body. Bring your legs up to 90 degree, activate your feet. So make sure your lower legs parallel to the floor, your hips square, your knees square. Now inhale and bring one leg down to the mat. Exhale up, inhale to your opposite side and exhale, bring it back. Make sure you engage your core and keep your back in neutral here. Don't arch your back, really pull your belly button in. Very good. And six, to your right. Five, keep breathing, belly button in. Four. To the other side, very good. And three more times here with your own breath. Inhale down, exhale, lift. Squeeze your thighs and really feel your lower abs working here. Beautiful, two. 
to the other side and last one inhale exhale come back to your opposite side and slowly bring it back legs down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now i want you to inhale and lift your legs up to 90 degree again don't say flex with your feet now i want you to inhale lengthen one leg to the front come back to your opposite side contract your body floor muscle press both hips down to the mat and arms along your body shoulder blades down and shoulder all the way far away from your ears so lengthen come back the lower your leg is the more challenging your core is so keep breathing and really listen to your body we don't want to arch your back here so engage your core keep breathing and five come back to the other side bring it back four to the other side and three more times stay with your own breath so keep breathing two to the other side and last one and slowly to the other side and bring it back up your knee to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now the next movement i wanted to inhale and slowly lift your legs up to 90 degree and now this time a little bit more challenging dorsi flex with both feet here arms along your body really press your whole shoulder blades down to the mat and i want you to reach your hand towards your heels here belly button in now push both legs away from the center and come back really engage your core and make sure you don't arch your back here squeeze your thighs and belly button in and seven more times sit with your own breath keep breathing again the lower your leg are the more challenging your core is so keep breathing inhale and exhale feel your lower abs here and five four activate your feet three two more times here with your own breath and keep breathing two and last one lengthen and hold it here if you can just for three two and one slowly have your knee to your chest very good inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right the next movement i wanted to inhale and again bring your legs up to 90 degree now activate your feet arms along your body this time instead of lengthen your legs all the way to the front i want you to keep the same angle on your knee here and every movement start from your hips bring both legs down to the mat make sure when you do that lengthen your arms and press your whole shoulders down keep breathing and nine more times stay with your own breath inhale and exhale belly button in lower back neutral position and keep breathing stabilize your hips very good and seven six inhale and exhale come back use the breath to control the movement here inhale bring it down activate your feet always exhale come back and three more times here with your own breath two and last one inhale bring it down exhale come back hug your knee to your chest shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose one more time exhale deeply through your mouth all right now from here i wanted to allow yourself to hug one knee to chest and lengthen your opposite leg to the front lift your head and your shoulder off the mat single leg stretch here inhale and exhale switch to the opposite side and come back we're going to do it 10 times each side here with your own breath and make sure you lift your chest a little bit higher stick your lower back down to the mat and one fist distance from your chin to your chest to protect your neck if you feel a little bit uncomfortable with your neck here you can always use your hand to support your head but make sure you open your elbows wider when you do that and five to the other side four again the lower your leg is the more challenging your core is so really listen to your body and do the most challenging position that you can do it so keep breathing three exhale every time you switch two chest up a little bit higher to really feel your abs here last one to the other side and slowly bring your head and shoulders down inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now the next movement i want you to lengthen your leg all the way up to the ceiling and your opposite leg to the front single leg stretch here 
So lift your head up again. One fist distance from the chin to your chest to chest up and switch. <sighs> Stick your lower back down to the mat and belly button in. Couple more times, stay with your own breath. Exhale. <sighs> Keep breathing and use the breath to control the movement. So five, four, three, very good. And two more times here. Last one. To the other side, how you need your chest, head and shoulders down. Again, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now from here, I want you to allow yourself to open your arms to the side and bring your legs up to 90 degrees here. So, shoulder blades down to the mat. When you bring your legs, both legs to one side, I want you to make sure your opposite shoulder blades still down to the mat always. So keep breathing. Inhale, start to bring your legs to one side. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale to your opposite side. Exhale back. Inhale. And exhale to the other side. Make sure you press your whole arms down. Belly button all the way in. And five. Keep your hips square. Your knees 90 degree. And activate your feet. And three more times. Stay with your own breath. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale back to center. Inhale to the other side. Exhale back to center. And last one. To your opposite side. And slowly come back to the center. Hug your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright. Now from here, I want you to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degrees. Head up. Shoulder off the mat and use your hand all the way along the body palms facing each other here. Activate your feet, so inhale, and I want you to reach your hands all the way towards the front, so exhale, reach, <sighs> inhale, come back, exhale, reach, and bring it back. Still keep your hips and knees square here, six more times with your own breath, and make sure that you use your shoulder to lift up, not your neck, to protect your neck, always keep the same distance from your chin to your chest, and one fist distance here, so reach, come back, and reach and bring it back, really use your chest to lift. Engage your core and feel your six back abs working so hard. Feel it's burning and creating a very sexy abs for you right now. Very good. And three, two, and the last one. And slowly head and shoulders down. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now I want you to allow yourself to lengthen your legs all the way up to the ceiling, arms along your body here, activate your feet. Now slowly bring one leg down to the mat and lift to the other side. So we don't have to bring your leg all the way to the mat, just above the mat here. And the lower your leg is, the more challenge your core is as always. Just remember that. And hips balanced, so stabilize your hips, press your hips down to the mat. Try to lengthen your leg all the way up to the ceiling and feel like someone pulling your leg away from your shoulders, your center here. Very good. So keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Press your whole arms down along the mat for more support. And five more times, stay with your own breath. Keep breathing here. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. Inhale to the other side. And exhale, lift. And four. To your right. Three to the other side and two more times here with your own breath and last one last one to the other side slowly bring it down hug your knee to your chest very good guys inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth all right now from here, I want you to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degrees and activate your feet again now open your arms to the side I want you to slowly Bring your legs to one side, engage your core and lengthen your leg. Come back to the other side. Again, just make sure that you always keep your opposite shoulder blades down to the mat. So, inhale, lengthen, exhale, bend and to the center. Inhale, lengthen to the other side. Exhale, come back and bend. Make it a precise movement here. So, 
bend your knees and bring your legs all the way to the side first and the next step is lengthen and then bend come back to the center and we don't do it at the same time to really feel and work your core here keep breathing very good inhale to the other side come back really press your shoulders down to the mat and belly button in and three more times each side here keep breathing to your opposite side two go as far as you can really engage your core to support your lower back here and listen to your body very good last one to your left come back last one to your right lengthen and slowly bring it back to the center legs down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now from here i wanted to allow yourself to lengthen your arms here along your body now lengthen your legs up and activate your feet inhale and keep your hips as high as you can and exhale slowly bring it down inhale all the way up and exhale down make sure when you do that you keep your hips balanced here and tuck the tailbone forward belly button in five more times stay with your own breath so keep breathing four three very good two shoulder blades down and last one and slowly bring it down bend your knee to the other side activate your foot inhale lift exhale down belly button in come up and down and five more times stay with your own breath four try to reach as high as you can really pull your belly button in three two and last one contract your pelvic floor muscle hug your knee to your chest inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth beautiful guys very good now from here i wanted to allow yourself to bend your knees open your legs a bit apart and press your feet down to the mat and arms along your body now again draw your hips your tailbone forward and your hips all the way up to the ceiling now engage your core and lift your heels up and slowly bring your hips down and lift push it all the way up engage your core here and really focus on your core so five more times stay with your own breath and keep breathing four squeezing the thighs belly button in and three inhale exhale down two very good and last one all the way up and heels down and slowly draw your hips all the way down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now the next movement i wanted to inhale and lift your head and your shoulder off the mat arms along your body now try to lift your chest a little bit higher really feel your six back abs here and one fist distance from your chin to the chest now i wanted to inhale and start to pump in your whole arms inhale two three four five exhale two three four five inhale exhale inhale and exhale and listen to your body do it with your own breath keep breathing and you can make it more challenging by lift your legs up to 90 degree here activate your feet and belly button all the way in stick your lower back down to the mat try to lift your chest a little bit higher to really feel your six back abs here and even more challenging lengthen both legs to the front if you feel tight on your neck you can always use your hand to support the neck keep breathing open your elbows wider if you use your hand here and then remember to switch to the other side to make it balanced don't hold your breath three more breaths here and really engage your core use the breath to control the movement of your arms lower your legs a little bit more if you want more challenge and if you want to make it easy always feel free to come back to 90 degree here and last round inhale exhale and slowly bend your knees like you need your chest inhale deeply through your nose exhale deeply through your mouth belly button in inhale and exhale very good now i want to allow yourself to lengthen your legs all the way up to the ceiling and open your arms to the side now inhale open your legs 
exhale come back inhale and exhale good now I want you to really work your core here by inhale when you bring your legs back together bring both legs to the front and come back again open and come back to the center both legs to the front and back up to the ceiling open to the side and come back front and up and side and up and five more times so with your own breath so really engage your core and keep breathing here inhale and back four and three more times say with your own breath two beautiful and the last one inhale and exhale slowly hug your knee to your chest inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth <sighs> all right very good now i want you to shake your hips a little bit here and bring your legs from left to right and that's the first part of the workout so i'm really happy that you guys complete the first part if you want more challenge please feel free to join me for the second part now otherwise i hope to see you tomorrow Anyway, so yeah, let's do the second part. Now I want you to inhale and lean on one side. Allow yourself to come all the way to on four position. Now put your shoulder far away from your ears and eyes and elbows rotate to face each other. Shoulder far away, lengthen your legs and lengthen your opposite legs here. Open your legs hip width apart. Now I want you to lift your hips as high as you can and then shift your weight to the front and get your core come to full plank and again lift belly button in exhale down and six more times still with your own breath so keep breathing five inhale exhale come back four three beautiful and two the last one lift and slowly come to um, um, full plank here hold it for five four three two and one bend your knees down hug your knees to your chest come to try pose inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and now from here i want you to come back to full plank again now make sure you always remember to put uh, rotate your the eyes on the elbows to face each other lengthen your legs here come to full plank and then bring one knee to elbow come back to your opposite side and a couple more times see with your own breath so really engage your core and eight beautiful seven to the other side six belly button in and five really engage your core and stabilize your hips here only your leg is moving three try to bring your knee as far as you can two beautiful it's the last one to the other side and slowly knees down try pose reach your hands again inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth very good now allow yourself to lie all the way down on your stomach now make a pillow under your forehead put your shoulder far away from your ears and open your legs here with the part i want you to inhale and lift both legs up at the same time activate your feet here really engage your core to support your lower back and slowly open your legs to the side and come back lift and down open your legs to the side so it's a combination of the legs movement here so you open it and lift it up and down and open to the side come back really engage your core here and keep breathing stabilize your hips and five more times here with your own breath so keep breathing four lift and down inhale open exhale back inhale lift and exhale down three two and last one and slowly bring your legs down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now the next movement i want you to really put your hand next to your chest and close your elbows all the way to the back now tuck your feet here i want you to inhale and allow yourself to challenge yourself a little bit with push up um so i want you to push your whole body up and if you are a beginner and you can always bend your knees here and and engage your core and lift your torso up with your hands here so really listen to your body and i want you to really try to challenge yourself by lengthening your 
whole legs here. So belly button in, lengthen your neck, look down to the mat. We're gonna do it five times. So keep breathing, inhale, push. Exhale, down, close your elbows all the way to the back. And four, three, belly button in, don't arch your back here. Two, and last one. Push and hold it here for five, four, three belly button all the way in. And last one, slowly bring it down, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now bring your hands all the way over your head here. Lengthen your arms, lengthen your legs. So inhale and lift one, both arms and legs up at the same time and come back, belly button in 10 times here with your own breath. Inhale and exhale, stabilize your hips, belly all the way in towards the spine. And seven, six, five, inhale, lift. Exhale down, inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Really engage your core and squeeze in the thighs. Squeeze your body muscle if you can. So three, two, last one. And slowly bring it down, come to try pose. With your hand forward, inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And now from here, I want you to align your side to lean on one side to do a side lift. So, forearms down to the mat, shoulder on top of your elbows and open your legs here with apart. So, one leg in front of the other one and press your feet down, engage your core, try to lift your waist as high as you can. Now, I want you to bring your hands behind your head, engage your core as much as possible, lift your hips as high as you can and bring it down 10 times here with your own breath. So, inhale, lift, exhale, down, inhale, up, engage your core as much as possible and keep breathing. Eight, seven, and six, five. Contract your pelvic floor muscle here. Press your whole forearm down to the mat and make sure your shoulder are always on top of your elbow. Two, and the last one. And slowly bring it down, bend your knees a little bit if you need rest. Now again, the next movement, I want you to inhale, lift your hips as high as you can and hand behind your head. Now slowly rotate your torso to the front and come back. So keep breathing, engage your core here. Feel your oblique twisting and slowly bring it back to the center. And seven more times with your own breath. Six, shoulder far away from your ears. And five, four, three, very good, two, last one. And slowly, Bring your hips down. Inhale deeply to your nose. Allow yourself to come to the other side. Good. So again, forearms down to the mat. Shoulder on top of your elbow and lengthen your legs here. Keep your back in neutral. Lift your waist as high as you can and hand behind your head. So again, inhale, lift your hips as high as you can and come back 10 times with your own breath. Keep breathing, nine. Very good, belly button in, eight. Contract your body floor muscle, seven and six. Five, try to lift as high as you can, really engage your core here. Four, press your forearm down. Three, open your elbows to the back. Two, and last one, slowly bring it down. And again, at this time, I want you to lift your hips as high as you can. Hand behind your head and rotate the torso to the front and come back 10 times with your own breath. Keep breathing, belly button in. Very good. Seven and six, five, four, three, two more times here. And last one. And slowly bring your hips down. Beautiful. Allow yourself to sit all the way along the mat. Now inhale, lengthen your legs, keep the feet activated. Close your elbows all the way to the back and shoulder far away from your ears. Now we need to bend your elbows here and lean backwards. Now inhale and lift one leg up and exhale to the other side. So keep breathing here. I want you to bend your knees at the same time and then lengthen your legs and keep breathing here. So 10 times with your own breath and belly button in eight, seven, really engage your core and keep your shoulders down far away from your ears. Six, 
keep breathing, use the breath to control the movement in five, four, three, two, and last one. And slowly open your legs. You can always bend your knees and activate here, your feet here, and bring your arm to the front. So slide back to open your chest, engage your core. Now I want you to inhale, bring one leg down, and lift to the other side, and come back. So keep breathing. Make sure you pull your belly button in and shoulder down, far away from your ears. Keep your arms parallel to your upper leg. And six, to the other side. Five, to your opposite side. Four more times, sit with your own breath. And keep breathing, very good. Three, two, and last one. To the other side, and slowly bring your legs down, hug your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. Beautiful. Now you want to allow yourself to lengthen your spine and pull your belly button in, shoulders down. Open your legs every the part here. Now bring your hands to the front, palms facing each other. Now slowly inhale and lean backward. Open your chest, belly button in, lengthen your spine here. Exhale, lift your arms all the way up. Inhale down, arms down with you. And exhale, come back. And eight more times here with your own breath. So keep breathing. Five, four, beautiful. And three more times here. Engage your core as much as possible. Contract your pubic floor muscles. So, and squeeze in your thighs. Two. And last one. And lift. And slowly bring your hands down, rotate your shoulders, and reverse. All right, now from here, I want you to allow yourself to all the way to own pole position again. All right, now from here, tuck your feet, inhale, lift your hips as high as you can. And exhale slowly, shift your weight to the front, bend your knees, down. And inhale, lift, and shift your weight to the front, bend your knees, just above the mat. Don't bring your knees all the way down to the mat here. Engage your core and keep breathing, belly button in. And six more times, sit with your own breath. Five, four, three, very good. And two more times, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your body muscle if you can, really engage your core. Because the most important thing here is we focus on the core. And last one, bend your knees, keep your knee just above the floor here, and I want you to hold it here for five, four, three two and one slowly bring your knees down now a little bit more challenge here i wanted to inhale keep your heels and your knees together touch your feet lift your hips as high as you can and slowly bring your hip to one side come back to the other side do it really slowly here with your own breath so keep breathing and five to your opposite side belly button in four three engage your core keep breathing here and two more times, sit with your own breath. Shoulders always on top of your elbows. Very good. And three. To the other side. Two more times, inhale. And exhale. Keep breathing and use the breath to control the movement. Last one, bring it back to the center. Come to try pose. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now from here, I want you to allow yourself to lengthen and come to on four position again. Now I want you to tuck your feet and keep your knees here. You can make a fist with your hands to make it, if you want more support with your wrist here. Make sure you're far away from your ears, eyes and elbows rotate to face each other. Inhale, lift your hips up. And exhale, slowly bring your knees wider. Engage your core. And slowly bring your knees down and lift. So, your heels together, your knees wider and lift your hips down and up. Really pull your belly button in and engage your core here. Feel your core is working, really burning. And control the movement. So three, two, and three more times here. Two, and last one. And slowly close your knees. Bring your knees down. Inhale deeply to your nose, come to tripods. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Shake your hips. And one more deep breath here, inhale, and exhale, very good. 
Now the next movement, I want you to inhale and allow yourself to lie all the way down on your back. So keep breathing, hands along your body, and lift your legs up to 90 degree. Activate your feet. Now I want you to inhale and lift your head and shoulder off the mat. Use your hand to support your head. Open your elbows wider and stick your lower back all the way down to the mat. Now inhale and exhale, bring your legs down at the same time. Come back. Now when you do this, I want you to make sure you press your lower back all the way down to the mat. Pull your belly button in, legs, your knees not changing the angle here. So every movement start from your hips. Keep breathing, open your elbows wider, press your shoulders down towards your hips. Squish in your thighs and contract your pelvic floor muscle here. And five, inhale, exhale, four, very good, activate your feet, three, two, and last one. And slowly come back, hug your knee to your chest, inhale deeply through your nose, exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now the next movement, I want you to inhale and slowly hug your knee to your chest with both hands here. Lift your head and your shoulder off the mat again. Now this time, I want you to keep one fist distant from your chin to your chest. Try to lift your chest a little bit higher. Inhale and exhale, slowly lengthen one leg. And lift and down. So you can put your hand on your thighs or you can use your hand to support your head. It's really up to you, but listen to your body here. And keep breathing, engage your core. Chest up. In five. The lower your leg is, the more challenge your core is. So really listen to your body and challenge yourself by the right position, the best one for you. So keep breathing. And two. And the last one. And lift and slowly bring it down. Use your hand, change your hand to the opposite side. Try to lift your chest all the way up to really feel your six back here. Lengthen one leg up. And again, inhale. Leg down, come back, open your elbow wider and squeeze in the thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscle here. Couple more times with your own breath. Always try to lift the chest a little bit higher and feel your core here. Keep breathing, inhale and exhale. And six, five, shoulder far away from your ears and stabilize your hips. Keep your hips balanced. Three, beautiful, two, and last one, and slowly lift, hug your knee to your chest, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now I want you to allow yourself to lengthen your legs all the way up to the ceiling, activate your feet here, arms along your body. Now this one, this time, I want you to lift your head and shoulder up the mat again, reach your hand towards your hips, inhale, and exhale, lift your arms up and reach, come back and bring your arms down. Inhale, lift and reach and down. So always keep one fist distant from your chin to your chest and reach and bring it down. Try to use your chest to lead the movement here, not your neck. So you're gonna feel to support your neck here. So really feel your six pack abs working here. Very good. And five, exhale, reach, inhale, down, exhale, <sighs> inhale, lengthen your legs all the way up. Four. You can always lower your legs if you want more challenge. In three, two, last one. And slowly head, shoulders down, hug your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now the next movement, I want you to inhale, lift your legs up to 90 degree here and slowly dorsiflex with your feet, arms along your body. Now I want you to inhale and Keep your lower legs parallel to the floor. Push your legs all the way to the front. Open your legs and bend. Inhale, lengthen. Open. Exhale, come back and bend. Eight more times Stay with your own breath. So keep breathing and again. Your core is uh, really listen to your body by the right position. Very good. And four more times here with your own breath. Keep breathing. Three, inhale, exhale, come back, two, and last one, and slowly bring it back, hug your knee to your chest, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth, 
and slowly bring your legs down. Shake your hips. Inhale and exhale. Very good. Now I want you to inhale and allow yourself to open your arms to the side, press your feet down, open your legs, feet feet apart. Now tuck your tailbone forward, pull your belly button in, lift your hips as high as you can. Now slowly bring your hips to from left to right and come back. Press your shoulder blades down to the mat. So your hips moving from the left to the right and reverse. Keep breathing, really keep the hips stabilized and balanced here. Beautiful. And six. Feel your oblique is lengthening on one side and shortening on the other side. So keep breathing. Three. Belly button in. Two. And last one. To the other side. Back to the center. And slowly bring your hips down. Keep your hips and your knees together. Arms along your body. Now bring one leg up to 90 degree. Press your opposite foot down. And draw your hips all the way up. Now this time inhale. And I want you to bring your leg down and lengthen and bend and lift inhale down and lengthen exhale come back and lift and eight more times stay with your own breath make sure when you do that you always keep your hips neutral and balanced and press your whole arms down your shoulder blades down to support your core more and belly button in engage your core very good beautiful inhale down lengthen Exhale, come back and lift. Squeeze your thighs and contract your pubic floor muscle. Three more times here with your own breath. Two. And last one. And slowly draw your hips down to the other side. Press your opposite foot down again, knee on top of your ankle. Inhale and draw your hips all the way up. Tap your tailbone forward again. Belly button in. Bring your leg down and lengthen. Come back and up. And a couple more times, still with your own breath. Belly button in. Beautiful. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come back. And five. Four. Three. Two. And last one. And slowly. Bring it back to the center, hips down. Hug your knee to your chest, stretch your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Bring your legs from left to right. And slowly come back to the center. Very good. Now inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. Now from here, I want you to allow yourself to lengthen your legs all the way up to the ceiling again. Now activate your feet, arms along your body. Now bring one leg down to the mat and then start to switch like we're walking on the air. So keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Make sure you stabilize your hips here. Back in neutral. Don't arch your back and belly button in. You can always bend your knees to 90 degrees if you feel like it's easier for you like this. So keep breathing. Really listen to your body. And again, for more challenge, lengthen your legs. Arms along your body for more support. Press your whole shoulders down and belly button in. Keep breathing here. Inhale and exhale to your opposite side. And five, four, three, and two more times. Sit with your own breath. Keep breathing. Last one to the other side and slowly bring it down. You need your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now from here, I want you to bring your legs up to 90 degrees and activate your feet again. Open your arms to the side. Now inhale and open your legs to the side. Lengthen your legs and bring it further away from the hips. Come back, engage your core and close and bend your knees. So again, open, lengthen and bring it further away. Come back and bend. So a little bit complicated movement here, but it's actually just really listen to your body like we're drawing a circle but inch different step so again open your legs with your knees bend lengthen and then move your legs further away from your hips come back to the center and bend so open lengthen away together center and then bend very good keep breathing and we're going to do it five more times here with your own breath really keep your back in neutral position and don't add your back here 
for very good guys you don't have to bring your legs all like so far from the center really listen to your body and make sure that your back is always in neutral position here the shoulder blades press down to the mat and two more times see with your own breath inhale open lengthen further away come back last one inhale and exhale and slowly up your knee to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth very good now i want to inhale and slowly lift your head and your shoulder off the mat and press your leg down to the mat press your feet down to the mat now open your elbows wider and shoulder far away from your ears here so inhale and exhale i want you to crunch up and down and exhale and down and 10 times say with your own breath so keep breathing nine eight seven reach try to open your elbows wider and try to reach your shoulder as high as you can four and three two last one slowly head and shoulders down inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth beautiful now from here i want to allow yourself to really challenge yourself with this so arms along your body here press your lower back down to the mat lift your legs up to 90 degrees and activate your feet now pull your belly button in and this movement i just want you to challenge yourself so if you cannot do that it's totally fine and you're gonna gradually do it uh, so just trust me do it um more like just practice and then you're gonna do it very soon if you cannot do that but i'm sure that a lot of you guys can do this so let's try now inhale and exhale lift your hips up use your core to do that and then slowly each vertebra at a time bring your hips down and bend your knees so press your whole arms and shoulders down here really engage your core and use your core not the momentum to bring your hips all the way up so again inhale and lift and exhale slowly each vertebra at a time down to the mat like try to do it with control here so don't bring it down so fast every movement is with, is with control and use the breath to control the movement so three more times here with your own breath inhale and legs parallel to the floor exhale chin to chest and upper back middle back and lower back down to the mat beautiful two more times here with your own breath inhale activate your feet engage your core and slowly down squeeze your thighs and last one now reach and slowly bring it down hug your knee to your chest very good guys inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth so comment below and let me know if you guys can do this movement i'm really proud of you guys and and I'm sure you are very amazing. All right, so the next movement, I wanted to inhale and lift your legs up, activate your feet here. So I wanted to bring your arms all the way up to the ceiling as well. Press your palms together, keep your heels together. Now inhale and move your arms and your legs to your opposite way and come back, engage your core. So make sure when you do this, your lower back always in neutral position and belly button in, only move your legs and your arms to the point that you feel like your back is still in neutral position so don't have to go all the way like further than you can just really listen to your body here inhale and exhale very good and six more times sit with your own breath so keep breathing belly button in five activate your feet four and three two beautiful guys and last one inhale exhale slowly bring it back bend your knee have your knee to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right very good now i wanted to allow yourself to open your arms to the side and bend your knees down press your feet down draw your hips all the way up now tuck the tailbone forward and then slowly each vertebra right at a time down to the mat for more support you can always use your hand along your body here so keep breathing belly button in and five more times with your own breath keep your legs parallel to each other and knees facing all the way up to the ceiling so four 
belly button in, squeezing the thighs. Inhale all the way up. And exhale, slowly bring it down three more times. Inhale, lift. And exhale, down two. And last one, all the way up. And slowly bring it down, shake your hips. Inhale, deeply to your nose. And exhale, deeply to your mouth. All right, now the next movement, I want you to inhale and slowly hug your knees to your chest. Start to dorsiflex with your feet. And then point your toes to the front, to the side, and start to rotate. So five, four, three, two, and one, reverse. And lengthen your legs all the way up to the ceiling. Use your hand move towards the ankle, or as far as you can really listen to your body, and start from your knees here. So engage your core, dorsiflex flex with your feet. And point your toe to the front. And inhale, and exhale. Good, and three more times, stay with your own breath. Slightly engage your core here, two. And last one. And slowly hug your knee to your chest again. Rotate your ankle. Reverse. Now I want you to lean on one side to sit up. Lengthen your legs, open your legs to the part here, and bring your hands to the front, palms facing down to the mat. Inhale, and exhale, reach forward. Inhale, come back, shoulders down. Exhale, reach. Inhale, bring it back to the center. And five more times, stay with your own breath. So keep breathing, four. Lengthen your neck, look down to the mat. And two more times here. And last one, reach. And slowly bring it back, shoulders down. Lengthen your spine, inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. <sighs> All right. Now I want you to inhale, bring your hands on hand here. Rotate the torso to one side, feel your oblique is twisting. And come back to your opposite side, back to the center. Five more times each side here with your own breath. And keep breathing, four. To the other side, three. Two. And last one, to your opposite side, and slowly bring it back to the center. Rotate your shoulders fully to four directions, and reverse. Now from here, bring your body all the way towards on four position. Eyes and elbows rotate to face each other, and keep your shoulders down between your arms, and get your core, lengthen your spine, and lift. And five, four, three, two, Last one. Now articulate your spine, shoulders down, inhale, look up. And chin your chest, roll each vertebra at a time, belly button all the way in. And articulate your spine, shoulders down again. And four more times, stay with your own breath, so keep breathing. Inhale. And exhale, roll your spine. And three. Each vertebra at a time, squeezing the thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscle. And last one, round your spine, hold it here for three, two, upper spine, a little bit higher if you can. And then articulate your spine, shoulders down, inhale, look up and hold it for three, two, and one, slowly bring your back back to neutral, shake your hips. Now I want you to imagine that you have a tail behind your hips here. I want you to wag your tail to one side and to your opposite side. And five more times, stay with your own breath. So keep breathing. Four, inhale. Exhale, come back <sighs> to the other side. And three, belly button all the way in. Two. And last one. To your opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center. And sit up. Open your legs as wide as you can. And lean on one side arms over your head, come back to your opposite side and bring it back to the center one more time to your opposite side and slowly back to the center hand to the front, reach your hands a little bit forward hold it here for five, four, three, two and one slowly bring your hands back articulate your spine, inhale shoulders down and look towards the front or a little bit up if you can. And chin your chest, rise your spine here. 
can call in sitting position Aj and round and one more time and round your spine and bring your back back to neutral bend your knees keep your feet together lengthen your spine inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth you can put your hand on opposite knee rotate your torso to the back and hold it here for three two and one to your opposite side and slowly come back to the center rotate your shoulders and reverse lengthen your spine here inhale deeply through your nose exhale deeply through your mouth and that's the work after that thank you so much for joining me and i hope to see you tomorrow because we're going to do a double challenge tomorrow to build your brazilian butt so See you tomorrow. Bye.